papuri at karangalan Itataas ang kamay sa pagsamba Alad mo'y dalawilay Dakila ka, makapangyarihan ka Kataas-taas ang Diyos Walang papantay sa'yo Dakila ka, makapangyarihan ka Kataas-taas ang Diyos Walang papantay sa'yo napakadakila ng ating Panginoon sa umagang ito. Amen? Amen. So praise the Lord na uh, andito tayo ulit sa umagang ito. At uh, uh, unas talat, uh, pasalamat kay Brother Ruel for inviting us na makadayo sa gawang ito. First time namin dito sa Hong Kong. At nung nag-invite si Brother Ruel, sabi ko, oh, salamat naman sa invitation. Tagapit-bit na lang sana po ng malita. Kaya eh, lang tinigyan niya pa <laughs> Inuna niya pa po sa sarili niya. So, but anyway, uh, way back pa kami magkaibigan ni Brother Ruel. Pero nagkaroon lang kami ng really quality time nung last year nung pumunta sila sa Arizona. Uh, matagal na kami magkakilala, mga way 1980s pa. Pero dahil alam natin ang pustat natin are ordered by the Lord. No? Maraming mga circumstances na gusto natin makapiling ang ating mga kaibigan. Pero uh, sometimes ang ating Panginoon siyang nag-order o nag-arrange ng time. But uh, in His time, all, all things are beautiful. Kaya uh, nagpapasalamat kami nung last year, nakasama namin siya. Magkaroon kami ng one week na special quality time. So, sa mga pagbiyahe namin, so parang na-revive na ulit ang yung uh, pagkakaibigan namin. And always consider him as a, an elder. Uh, in the ministry no? at uh, naging pagalakan din natin sa puso natin naging uh, associated ako sa uh, ministry niya Amen? so I'm still learning so uh, siya yan taktay na siya ako man, naging apo <laughs> sa ministry ako ba? I'm just learning no? salamat Amen. naman at uh, binigyan ng pagkataon na dito tayo, praise God uh, we believe na hindi ito isang ordinary na gathering although yes. yes. sabihin nila na holiday, special meeting but we believe in the supernatural Amen. Amen. at uh, sabi ng ating Panginoon walang man makapunta sa kanya kung hindi niya Uh, no one can come to him except he draws him near. Amen? Amen. So it is a supernatural. Sabihin natin, oh, holiday ngayon. But then, kung hindi uh, sa kamay ng ating Panginoon, hindi pa rin natin magawang mag-tipo, mag, uh, mag-gather sa umagang ito. Amen? Amen? Are we glad to be a Christian? Amen! Amen. Hallelujah! So sabi ng prophet, it is not your desire to be a Christian. It is God's desire for you to be a Christian. Amen! Amen. Sabi niya, no one can come to me, sabi ko pa ng drawing years. Amen? So, we can always say that uh, every gathering is a special gathering and 
is a supernatural gathering. Right. Sabi niya, whoever two or three are gathered in his name, he will be in our midst. Amen? Amen? So we're not expecting the person of Jesus Christ, but we believe that God is in His Word. And I believe that uh, kung andito tayo, I believe that He will be ministering to us this morning. Amen? Amen. So magkikita natin natin, Panginoon, is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Although, uh, hindi ko alam kung anong kailangan natin, spiritually speaking, uh, ang ating Panginoon na siya nakaalam ng bawat isa. Alam niya ang ating nasa isip natin, sa puso natin, even before na andito tayo, alam niya. Amen? Because God is in His Word, and the Word of God said that He is still the discerner of the thought and the intent of our heart. Amen? So, panalangin natin sa umagang ito na siya mag-minister sa mga needs natin. And I believe na the Uh, special ang gathering na ito God is willing, praise God na mag-serve sa uh, asawa niya, Amen all the God of Jesus Christ, Amen, Amen. so mag uh, uh, yun po muna tayo mga kapatid praise God, Heavenly Father Lord nagpapasalamat kami sa umag ito and we bring our praise and honor and thanksgiving Lord sa iyo sa umag ito for the good things na ginawa mo sa aming mga buhay Lord Amen. that we Always, Lord, humble ourselves, Lord, knowing na uh, kung wala ka, Lord, wala din kami magawa sa sarili namin. Uh, even the salvation, Lord, is just the gift of God, Lord. God. So, salamat sa umangin ito. Binigyan mo kami ng pagkataon na uh, we can gather together, Lord, to worship you in spirit and in truth, Lord. At hiningin uh, uh, namin, Lord, pinag-pray namin sa umagang ito that you, you will come once again in a very special way mag-minister sa needs ng uh, mga anak ng Lord sa so, umagang ito. Yes. And we ask, Lord, that it will be a very special day, Lord. May you just sanctify our mind or our heart, Lord, that uh, uh, may your name be glorified among us this morning. And we commit this service. May you bless each and everyone. Bless the Pastor Brother Well and my elders church, Lord. And, yeah. We just give our heart to you this morning. I want to express how we love you, Lord. And we are so thankful and grateful for the things that you have done in our lives, Lord. And without you, we can truly say we are nothing, Lord. So, give you back the honor and the praise in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. 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 So, punta na tayo mga kapatid sa salita ng ating Panginoon. It is just a sort of uh, review and encouragement, putting in remembrance the things that God has already done in our lives. The book of Judges. <clears throat> Chapter 16. At sa may mga birthday pala, sa pagkarindi ko kapon, mayroong anim na may birthday. O, ito yan. Happy birthday! Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Sa ating mga visitors, uh, we're very welcome in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So, iba sa atin. Ah, si Brother Mario Chua pala yung pangalat ko. Ang iba ka po, wala dito. Eh. So, Brother Mario Chua. And, uh, and I also bring greetings sa uh, pastor namin, Brother Ron Peterson. At, uh, sabi niya, huwag mong kalimutan na i-greet at uh, ako sa mga mosang kapunta. So, very good. Book of Judges, uh, chapter 16. Uh, one verse lang ang babasahin ko. Amen? So, familiar tayo sa buhay ni Samson, but uh, I will just read the uh, verse 13. Chapter 16, verse 13. And sabi dito, And Samson said, Let me die with the Philistines. And he bowed himself with all his might, and the house fell upon the lords and upon all the people that were therein. So the dead which he slew at his death were more than they which he slew in his life. So, bigyan ko ng title ito. And... Title po, uh, our victory lies in the willingness of our death with our enemies. Our victory lies in the death with our enemies. At uh, ang Panginoon magpapala uh, sa mga salita niya yung binasa natin. You may be seated. Mupo na po tayo. 
Very good. So before tayo magpunta uh, sa conclusion ng ating uh, title, let me die with the enemies or uh, bigyan tayo ng uh, konting background yung buhay ni Samson. At alam natin na meron tayong prophet, prophet na dumating sa ating kapanahunan at uh, alam natin mystery of the seven seals was already open at sabi ni Brother Panam yung Bible becomes a new Bible hindi sabihin new na dinagdagan natin or binawasan natin but we have the revelations of the message of the hour na ito palang Bible it is a written mystery actually a prophecy uh, uh, mystery form mga kapatid ng life story natin no? Because, uh, the mystery of our life is already written in the book uh, sabi nila uh, written in the volumes of the book so it is a mystery na hindi ito just a history or just a mga, mga story lamang na pwede nating basahin na parang comics it is something uh, There's a mystery hidden in the book na andito lang ni-reveal sa atin sa kapanahon na ito. So the book of Judges na sinulat ito after the book of Joshua. At alam natin si Joshua, siya yung right hand man ni Moses. No? Nung si Moses, he was the uh, Exodus prophet na nag sa Israel out of Egypt, out of bandage and pointing into uh, the promised land. Kasi alam natin ang redemption is just coming out and going into. No? Coming out from a denominational belief, going into the promised land. Which we believe mga kapatid, ng promised land natin sa panahon natin, praise God, it's the revealed word of the hour. Uh, makita natin nung namatay na si Joshua, uh, si Moses, si Joshua yung nag ng mga children of Israel to the promised land at nilagay sila sa bawat inheritance na sinasabi ni Moses. Amen. At nagkaroon sila ng placing during that time. Yes. So as time goes on, nagkaroon sila mga kapatid ng spirit of uh, lax, no? naging relax sila. Yes. Naging pabaya sila. And the, and, the, and the book of Judges recorded na merong mga 13 judges na recorded sa so the book of Judges, pero merong pitong distinct judges na sinasabi dito and uh, the children of Israel did evil in the sight of the Lord so every time they did evil ang ating Panginoon nag- nagpadadala din ng deliverance Amen. we believe that when the enemy comes in like a flood the Lord will just raise up a standard against Amen. it Amen. so pitong mga kapatid so ito a history ng Israel their ups and downs so makikita natin that during the time Uh, kung magbabasa natin ang background ni Samson, makikita natin sa chapter 13 ng the book of Judges and ang first verse and, sabi, and the children of Israel did evil again in the sight of the Lord and the Lord delivered them into the hands of the Philistine. So makikita natin isa ka napakalungkot na, na, na verse and makikita natin na although they are already being established they are placed in their promised land As time goes on, praise God, a scripture nagsasabi that they did evil in the sight of the Lord. Ano nakagawa na sila nung, nung makasalanan sa ating Panginoon? The scripture said, and the Lord delivered them into the hand of the Philistine for years. So mayroong consequences. So hindi natin mga kapatid, that's why we need to check our lives if evil before kung evil ang dumating sa buhay natin, dapat i-check din natin. No? Kung sa akin kasi, sabi na Adi Pramal, if you are sealed with the Holy Ghost, then the Satan is sealed out. But kung may dumating mang evil or something, mga mga trouble sa ating buhay, dapat i-check din natin according to the Word of God. Amen? Amen. And they did evil in the sight of the Lord and the Lord delivered them. In the Philistine, 40 years. 40 years din silang nagsasuffer. But God is so gracious, hindi niya pahintulot na na magsasuffer tayo. That's why being a Christian, walang forever na suffering. Walang forever na trials. In everything, there is a time and season and there is a purpose in everything, every trial sa ating buhay. So that, that everything na dumating sa atin, praise God, always 
check ourselves in the word of God. Amen. Because God is faithful. Yes. Kaya nga sabi ko, kahapon meron tayong emergency code. Ang sanlibutan merong emergency code, 911, everything, uh, may, merong kang problem, troubles, calamities, you just dial 911 and there is fewer darating ka agad. But biyang mga, mga Christians, we have also a, a emergency code and that is 119. First John chapter 1 verse 9. <laughs> If we sin, we confess our sin and He's faithful to forgive our sins. Amen? Amen. So, dito mga kapatid, they did evil in the sight of the Lord, so we need to check ourselves always in the Scripture. And then verse 2, And there was a, a certain man of Zorah of the family of Danites whose name was Manoah and his wife was barren and bare not. And the angel of the Lord appeared unto the woman and said unto her, Behold, thou art barren, and bearest not, but thou shalt conceive and bear a son. So ang ating Panginoon, praise God, o, hindi siya nagpahihintulot na tutuloy-tuloy ang mga, mga kalamitin sa buhay natin. So mga trials. He always sent a deliverer. At dito na mo sa ating Panginoon, praise God, an angel of the Lord appeared unto the woman. And we believe that a woman is always a type of a church. Amen? Amen? At itong babaeng ito, hindi ito isang ordinary na babae. The scripture, she was barren and bare not. Mm-hmm. Amen? But when the angel came, hallelujah, hindi ito su- is- isang natural na nag-appear ang angel, but it is a supernatural thing because a woman na naandito, which is the wife of Manoah, she was barren and bare not. But the angel of the Lord appeared and gave a message to her, you shall conceive and bear a son. Amen? So ang ating Panginoon is still the same yesterday, today, and forever. Amen. Ang ating Panginoon is still the same today na He is still in the business of making the impossible possible. Amen. 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 When the angel of the Lord came, He is doing it in the supernatural. Maybe may mga problem ka sa umagang ito. Praise God. Maybe iniisip mong trabaho mo, iniisip mong pamilya mo, iniisip mong lahat. Kung anong bagay sa buhay mo. Na, iniisip mo na wala ka nang magagawa there's no chance there's no hope but we believe that God is still the same Amen. He's still in the business of making the impossible possible Amen. kahit na pinaka imposible sa iniisip mo praise God if you believe in the Lord Jesus Christ He can make things happen Amen. because God is a God maker He is a way maker Amen. Amen He makes a way where there seems to be no way Amen. that's why we always praise God Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory. Now therefore be where I pray thee and drink not wine or strong drink and eat not any unclean thing. May condition pala. When the angel of the Lord gave the message, you shall bear a son. That is positive. Hindi na bibigay ang salita ng ating Panginoon na i-promise niya ngayon bukas, sabi niya, nagkabalik pala ako. When God gave a promise that is certain. Amen? Amen? There is no uncertainty in the word of God. It is always certain because God cannot lie. Amen? Yes. And He is obligated to fulfill His promise. Sabi niya, kung hindi niya ma-fulfill ang promise, then he, we cannot call Him God. Because God is in His word. Amen. You shall bear a son that is finished, but there is a condition. Amen. Drink not wine or strong drink and any and eat any unclean thing. Likewise, mga kapatid, magkaroon tayo ng fulfillment ng promises at ng promises ng ating buhay sa ating Panginoon if we refrain ourselves from drinking and belief or denominational teaching. We need to eat the pure word. Amen. That's right. Amen. The angel's message of the hour. Amen. And we cannot add to it or take away from the word of God. Kung anong binigay na minsan ng ating panganaon, hindi na pwede natin madagdagan. We cannot interpret the word of God because He interpreted His own word Amen. by making it come to pass. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. So merong isang condition. You shall bear a son. Praise God. But merong condition. For lo, thou shalt conceive and bear a son, and no razor shall come on his head. For the child shall be a Nazarite unto God from the womb, 
and he shall begin to deliver Israel out of the hand of the Philistine. So makikita natin na identify ng angel of the Lord kung anong klaseng anak ang i-concede niya, ang uri luluwa niya. He will be a Nazarite from the womb. And a Nazarite means a separated from the world to the word of God. So a special pala ang calling natin. We are reflecting our lives are reflecting the life of Samson. So, yung calling natin, hindi ito ordinary na calling. We are called to be a Nazarite in these last days. And a Nazarite is come out from among them, be separate from the Word, and be united to the Word of God. We have a special calling in these last days. Hindi tayo tinawag na ating Panginoon uh, at mag-put up ng other denominations, put up another organization. We are called to be a Nazarite. Amen. Amen. And be united with the word of God. Hallelujah. In these last days. Thou shalt conceive and bear a son, and no razor shall come on his head, for the child shall be a Nazarite unto God from the womb, and he shall begin to deliver Israel out of the hand of the Philistine. Amen. Positive na message. Kung tawagin ka ng ating Panginoon in these last days, when the seal was opened, Tinawag ka na anak na lalaki at anak ng babae. Do you believe it? Amen. Amen. Yes. Hindi tayo tinawag na maging church member. Yes. Because ito minsay, hallelujah, nagbigay ng relationship. Yes. Not Amen. membership. Amen. We need to be identified with Jesus Christ. Amen. And the woman came and told her husband and saying, A man of God came unto me and his countenance was like the countenance of an angel of God. Very terrible, but I asked him not when he was neither told me his name. So the angel of the Lord nag-reveal ng message niya sa woman, so itong babae walang pangalan. Pinatawal na siya na Wife of Manoah. Walang pangalan. So, ang identification niya doon sa pangalan ng asawa niya. So, she was called Mrs. Manoah. Which is type of the church. A woman is always type of the church. And the angel of the Lord will only deal with a woman that bears the name of her husband. And we are associated with the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Because we are baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. We are not baptized in the name of the Father and Son and Holy Ghost. Yes. Because Father, Son, and Holy Ghost is not a name but a title that pertains to a name. That's right. So if we are baptized in the name Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, then we are not associated at all in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. That's true. Amen. 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 That's right. So we need to have we need to be baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ Amen. and be associated Amen. 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 with our husband. Yes. So that's why we are called Mrs. Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. So if you are baptized in the name Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, that is only a title. Brother Ruben is a father. I am a father. Brother uh, Luke is a, a father. Brother Joel is also a father. We have all the same title. Amen. Amen. So if we are baptized in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, then we cannot be associated with the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Wala tayong identity. But if we are baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ after repentance, baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, then we have the promise and we will be sealed. Yes. By the Holy Ghost until the days of our redemption. Amen. And the angel of the Lord appeared in our day. Hallelujah. Only appearing to the people, to the church that is associated with the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. So that's why we have a special calling in this last day. No na meet ni Mrs. Manoa, yung angel of the Lord, at they receive a yung message na share niya sa husband niya. Anong reaction ng husband niya? But he said unto me, Behold, thou conceive and bear a son, and now drink no wine or strong drink, neither eat any unclean thing. Oh, excuse me, dito sa verse, uh, 
Verse 5, For lo, thou shalt conceive and bear a son, and no razor shall come on his head, for the child shall be a Nazarite unto God from the womb, and he shall begin to deliver Israel out of the hand of the Philistine. Then the woman came and told her husband, saying, A man of God came unto me, and his countenance was like the countenance of an angel of God, very terrible, but I asked him not whence he was, neither told me his name. But he said unto me, Behold, thou shalt conceive and bear a son, and I'll drink no wine or strong drink, neither eat any unclean thing, for the child shall be a Nazarite to God from the womb to the day of his death. Then Manoah entreated the Lord and said, O oh my Lord, let the man of God which thou didst send come again unto us, and teach us what shall we do unto the child that shall be born. Nung okay. yeah. naishare na ni Mrs. Manoah, yung experience na encounter yung angel of the Lord, si Manoah, well, hindi nagre-react. Yes. Hindi siya nagre-react. Ano pang sinasabi mo? Maybe may mga false prophet nga nagsabi, may, maybe nag nagkaroon ka lang ng nightmare, o pero hindi natin maiintigahan. Totoo bang sinasabi mo? Walang angel of the Lord yun. But ano bang sinasabi mo? But instead of cursing, Mga kapatid, or questioning Mrs. Manawa, he entreated himself unto the Lord. So instead of a question check, he went into the Lord and prayed. Mm-hmm. And I believe kung yan ang pinaka-importante sa atin, kung hindi pa natin na, 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 intindihan. Yung salita ng Panginoon, may, maybe may somebody shared to us the message of the hour, hindi natin maintindihan. It's better na hindi tayo mag-question, praise God, but instead of questioning or uh, or magkaroon ka ng doubts, why don't you just pray and ask God? Amen. 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 Ask God kung anong itong narinig natin because God is doing a quick work in the, in the day that we are living in. Amen. Hindi na ito, hindi na ito tatagal pa ang sang libutan natin tinatayuan ngayon. We see all the signs, the end times already here. It's being made manifest. When the scripture says in the last day, when you hear wars and humors of wars, earthquakes from diverse places, it's time, sabi in the scripture, it's time to dig up and make a, uh, a hole or something, a bank, uh, bank house under the ground. But the scripture said, when we see all these things, we need to look up for our redemption is through at night. Amen. The sign of time is here. Amen. So instead of questioning something, we need just to pray, Lord, hallelujah, lead me to the truth. Amen. When when the truth shall come, He will set you free. Amen. Amen. Free from unbelief, from any condemnation, free from whatever things that bother your life. Amen. Because God is so gracious that He is not willing that anyone should perish. So we need to pray just like Mr. Manoah and the angel of the Lord, uh, Praise God. Make sure that they, they will not drink unclean things. At hindi lang ordinary na nasa right si, si Samson. Dito sa verse 5. At verse 7. But he said unto me, Behold, thou shalt conceive and bear a son. And now drink no wine nor strong drink, neither eat of any unclean thing. For the child shall be a Nazarite to God. From the womb to the day of his death. So makikita natin ang destinations ng anak ng bata. He will be a Nazarite from the womb to the day of his death. Right. Ibig sabihin, bago pa lumabas mga kapatid si Samson, alam na ng Panginoon ang destination niya. He will be a Nazarite from the womb to the day of his death. Amen? Amen. So alam ng Panginoon ang bawat isa sa atin before, before pa tayo yung pinanganak, alam niya na ang destiny na doon, we will be a Nazarite from the womb until the day of our death. Amen. Walang question, walang mga question sa kung anong mangyayari sa buhay natin, sa mga trials and testings, alam ng Panginoon, praise God. At the end of the day, we will be a Nazarite from the womb bago pa tayo pinanganak. Alam na ng ating Panginoon ang buhay natin. Amen. Hallelujah. Because God knows more about us than we know ourselves. Tayo, nung pinanganak tayo, marami pa tayong question. 
Maramay pa tayong plano. But then, ang ating Panginoon nung dumating yung mensahe sa atin, sabi niya, my ways are higher than your ways and my thoughts are higher than your thoughts. I know your beginning and I know where you are. Hallelujah. I said, I am the Alpha and I am the Omega. Hallelujah. So kung ano mga mga trials nung dumating sa buhay natin, praise God, hindi na magbabago ang sinabi ng Panginoon. You will be a Nazarite from the womb until the day of your death. Amen. Alam na ng Panginoon yung pinanganak tayo anong pagdadaanan natin alam na alam ng ating Panginoon. Amen. That's why minsan kung kung magbabasla tayo it will not surprise God. Kung meron tayo mga mga trials sa ating buhay hindi na natin masusurprise ang ating Panginoon. Minsan may, minsan may mga troubles sa family natin. May mga troubles sa church natin. May mga troubles sa mga fellowship natin. We, we, God is not surprised. Yes. Kasi alam niya na from the beginning up to the end. Yes. Amen. So we see that predestination is in plain view. Alam na ng ating Panginoon. Alam na yung pag-iisip natin sa pagpunta pa lang natin. Alam niya ang bawat, praise God, trials and testing sa ating buhay. Right. We can create circumstances sa ating life. Hallelujah. Kahit na in the midst of the storm, pwede mangusap ang ating Panginoon. Yes. Hallelujah. Kasi siya ang humahawak ng buhay natin. Amen. Amen. Kahit pa nandito sa sa kay Jeremiah na even sa Jeremiah 1.5 sabi niya, Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. And before thou comest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee. And I ordained thee a prophet unto the nation. Amen. Amen. So before pa siya pinanganap, alam na ng Panginoon, before pa siya pinanganap, He was already sanctified and He Amen. will be a prophet to the nation. Yes. At tayo naman mga kapatid sa buhay natin sa panahong ito, hindi aksidente na namit natin ang ating Panginoon through the preaching of the Word of God. Amen. 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 Tayo nito minsahe para ito sa bawat isa sa atin. Amen. Hindi ito pinadala sa Vicente Nino lang, praise God, kundi pinadala ito pa bawat isa sa atin. Amen. Remember, meron tayong parabos na the eagle, no? Yung isang eagle na nangitlog at yung nangitlog na iwan at nagkita ng farmer, you we are familiar sa parabol ng, yes. ng uh, the eagle at yung farmer kinuha niyang itlog ng eagle at uh, dinlagay doon sa uh, pugad. Ang saan? Tawag doon? Pugad ng manok. Hallelujah. So under those conditions na manok na yun hanggang na-hot sila nung lumabas ang eagle, praise God, eagle lang talaga siya. Pero hindi niya alam dahil andyan sa sa atmosphere ng mga manok. So kung anong kinakain ng manok, yun din ang kinakain niya. Kung anong aksyon ng, ng mga manok, doon ang aksyon niya. Pero nagkaroon na siya ngayon ng question sa buhay niya kasi nung yung araw makasta sa kanya nung nag-spread siya ng wing niya mas malaki kaysa sa shadow ng manok <laughs> nung nag-spread siya ng iwan niya parang natatapunan yung shadow ng manok kaya nag-question siya anong kinakain ko ba't iba ang shadow ko compare sa shadow ng manok amen hindi niya maintindihan and keep on looking kung anong ginagawa niya praise God Ano ginagawa ng manok? Ganong ginagawa niya. Pero minsan nag-flop yung manok hanggang sa ganyan kataas na ng siya, ng silya. Pero nung no, nag-flop siya ng, ng wings niya, two times, ando na sa sa'y taas ng kunong kahoy. Sabi na, something different. Hindi ko maintindihan ko ano ito. Praise God. Amen. Something supernatural. Pero hindi niya ma-explain. But there was something sa, iya, sa buhay niya na nag-long siya. Ano ba ito? Ito yung question niya. Amen. Maybe he went to one baptist, manok. Ano bang ibig sabihin nito? Sabi ng baptist, just clock, clock. Dahil ba dyan siya libay pa ito, kina yan. Sinubukan niya, pero walang, parang walang effect. Punta naman sa isang manok, kita niya, oh may, kung pala ito, oh may, parang, parang kay Wesley at itong grupo, punta ko. 
Klak-klak ganun pa rin ang nangyari. Hindi mm-hmm. pumunta siya sa Pentecostal. Doon may mga revivals. Tumatalontat o tumatalon siya. Sumasayaw siya. Parang, 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 pero sabi niya, hindi pwede kasi pag nag-clap siya, mas mataas ang lupa niya kasi sa sunod. Parang something different. Hallelujah. Ayun na yung nahalala. Something different that will also be inside of our heart. Then one day, yung mother ego na tinalala niya, meron pala akong isang itlog na iwan. I'll try to find it. Doon lumipad siya, praise God. Doon dumaan, praise God, ang mother ego. Sa tabi niya, nakita niya ang shadow. Yung shadow ng mother ego, katulad ng shadow niya. Or something, nakatakot siya. Hallelujah. At then, yung mother ego na shelf na then, he recognized. Hallelujah. Hindi yung question niya na answered na I am an eagle to begin with. Amen. Hallelujah. Hindi tayo naging cheater na naging eagle but we are the eagle to begin with. We are the son that always is to begin with. Hallelujah. Magkaroon lang tayo ng spiritual amnesia. Ay yung spiritual amnesia walang gamot. Walang gamot yung spiritual amnesia. Pero makakatulong na maibalik mo yung pag-iisip mo, yung maybe best friend mo or family mo, dadalhin ka nila sa mga places na familiar ka. Halimbawa, mahilig ka sa, sa park. Dadalhin ka nila doon. At ipapapasyal ka hanggang unti-unti mo ma-recall. Ma- napuntahan ko ng lugar na ito. Kaya lang hindi ko matatandaan kung kailan or paano ako nakapunta dito. There was something question, but meron ka ng something na maka-identify ka na ng sarili mo. Napuntahan ko na ito. Tapos, pupunta ka na naman sa isang kaibigan. Nakita ko na itong tao na ito. Puti ang buhok, matangkad. Yung ko baka nakita ko sa panaginip. May mga experience tayo na ganyan, di ba? Yes. Hindi natin alam kung saan natin nakikita, but then we can recall na there was something may, may connection. Mm-hmm. Hindi natin ma-recall. Hanggang praise God ma-restore ang pag-iisip niya. So we have a prophet in these last days. That's why binubombard tayo, dinadala niya ito, you are a sons and daughters of God, predestinated even before the foundation of the world. Yes. Amen? Yes. And the love of God was slain before the foundation for you and I. Yes. Amen? You are adopted as, as sons and daughters of God through Jesus Christ. Amen. May we call sa atin hanggang ma-recognize natin, we can say amen to every word of God. Amen. Because we are sons and daughters of God in these last days. Amen. Hindi accident din na naging sons and daughters of God. God. You are sons and daughters of God. Nagkaroon ng spiritual amnesia. But God sent a prophet in these last days, hallelujah, to let us recognize who we are. Amen. Amen. That's why wala tayong church membership. Amen. Hallelujah. We have only one, and that is our relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. So magkikita natin na uh, He was predestinated. He was a Nazarite from the womb and to His death. So wala mga question yan. Minsan magkaroon tayo ng doubt ng sarili natin. Minsan magkaroon tayo ng questions ng journey natin with the Lord. But hindi surprising para sa Panginoon. Yung sabi pa nga ni Paul, hindi magpapadala ang ating Panginoon ng mga trials na hindi natin makakaya. Yes, yes. Amen. <laughs> Kaya, ang mga dito sa Hong Kong, ma, 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 ano bang sabihin ng, makarelate talaga sa mga experience nyo dito. No? Kasi nagkaroon din kami ng separation sa family namin nung Uh, nung nag-abroad kami yung pag-abroad natin minsan maraming mag-question yan 
Bagka iniwan mo ba, uh, iniwan mo ang tatay mo, iniwan mo lahat para lang magtrabaho uh, ganyan ganyan. But we believe that God is a master of circumstances. Yes. Yes. Hindi tayo pupunta dito kung walang circumstances sa buhay natin. Yes. Sa amin, may mga negosyo nga kami. Nag-desire pa kami pumunta doon dahil sa circumstances na hindi natin may pa, ma, maiwasan. Yes. But we believe that God is in, all, in it all. Yes. Siya yung nag-uuyat, ng, siya yung mahawak ng mga, ng mga circumstances sa ating buhay. Yes. To begin with, kung ibalik natin uh, uh, sa ating buhay, kung tatadungin tayo ng ating buhay, anong gusto mo? I want to be with my family. Yes. But there sometimes circumstances na hindi natin may iwasan, but we believe, hindi ito forever. Yes. I believe pag ang design natin mabalik sa ating family, I believe that one of these days, God will grant it. Amen. Kasi nung, sa, nung, nung, nung nasa labas pa kami, iniwan namin mga anak namin dahil sa circumstances, we are short of uh, sometimes uh, sa pera. Siyempre, minsan kahit na ayaw mo, subukan mo lang lumabas dahil gusto mo. Na siyempre mga anak namin nun, mga 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, okay. or 7. Uh, lumabas kami, pupunta ng state, nag-tourist, then tapos naghanap ng trabaho doon, just uh, makaipon at makauwi. So every time na sumusulat yung mga anak namin, Sister Jo, punta sa isang kwarto. Ako naman sa isang kwarto. Iyak na iyak. <laughs> na parang uh, baliw. Pag, pag pinadalan namin ng picture ng mga anak, wow, crap. Parang iyak na iyak. Wala kang magawa. But then, God is a master of circumstances. The more mo makikita sila, the more ang imong desire, praise God, to be with the Lord. The more mo maklaim ang promise niya, mga kapatid, because God is just obligated to His work. He is obligated sa atin. Dahil nag-cry out tayo, dahil nagkaroon tayo ng sensation as it ang Panginoon. No! God is obligated to His word. That's why when we pray, we need to quote His promise. Amen! Amen! Pag sabi natin na wala tayong magawa, right? God, God is still our provider. Amen. He is still our waymaker. Amen. He is still our healer. Amen. At kung mag-pray tayo, we need to pray according to His promises. Yes. Pag ang promise na i-quote natin, then He is obligated to fulfill His promise. Amen. He is obligated tayo dahil nag tayo, dahil nagka-emotional. No! Just quote this word and He is going to fulfill it. Amen. 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 Yung anak ko na I think 12 years old nagkaroon ng Scoliosis. O Scoliosis. Tawag mo? Scoliosis. Parang misalignment of the spine. No? Nagkaroon siya mga kapatid parang kuba. Mm-hmm. So during the time mga kapatid nung palagi siyang umiyak lo, masakit ang likod ko, masakit ang likod ko. Parang binabali wala ko dahil sabi ko bata normal lang na pag naglaro minsan na tutumba minsan minsan nagpo fall down pero every time na umiyak siya sabi ko okay lang si normal sa isang bata na minsan madapa minsan tumayo but then yung asawa ko being a, a nurse nakikita niya yung symptom na hindi na ordinary na sakit kasi nagpo-form na yung likod niya parang pumupuba na so parang binabali wala ko nakikita ko pero sa deep down sa puso ko ayaw kong paniwalaan pero yung asawa ko kumbinsido na sabi niya ito sintom na ng sojosis kasi sumasakit na lalong araw-araw sumasakit sumasakit awang-awa ko sa anak during that time. So yung misis ko sabi niya wala walang mangyari medical uh, sa, sa medical hindi pwedeng maoperahan hindi le. Ang magagawa lang ng doktor ilagyan ng brace yung katawan niya hanggang mag straight the rest of her life. At during that time I was kita ko araw-araw pumupunta oh, ay sakit na sakit. Then isang gabi wala na akong magawa I was uh, in desperation. Lumuhod ako doon sa kama ng anak ko. At doon ako nag-petition sa ating Panginoon. So sabi na, Brother Panam, we need to have a right mental attitude towards His promise. Amen. For the Word of God to make it come to pass. During the time, nag-approach ako sa ating Panginoon. Lord, 
I come before you, sabi ko, anak mo, anak mo ko. I, could just, I, I believe that I am your son. So that's why, lumalapit ako sa iyo, hindi agot to maghingi o magbeg ng healings. But I come before you as your son and I claim my benefits as a son. Amen. I claim healing, Lord, and you need to prove that you, you, you are the same yesterday, today, and forever. Amen. Hindi tayo dapat nag-approach sa ating Panginoon nag- nagmamakaawa. Amen. Healing is already done 2,000 years ago. Amen. Amen. Redemption, salvation is already done 2,000 years ago. We need to approach Him in our right mental attitudes. Amen. So that's why when I approach God, I didn't beg, but I just claim as a son, Lord, I need your healing. Amen. But the more tayo nag-claim ng healing, yung Satan, and yan din. Yes. Walang magagawa ang Diyos dyan. Paano magagawa? Sabi ng doktor, hindi na, wala nang, hindi na magagaling yan. Oh. Wala nang mangyayari. But I keep on insisting. Lord, I insist healing according to your promise. Yes. Oh. Yes. The more ako nag-insist, the more din ang, ang kaaway nag-insist. Walang mangyayari yan. Imposible na yan. Uh-huh. But I keep on insisting. Lord, I insist as your son, I need healing for my daughter right now. Pagkatapos nung nakatulog ako, praise God, nung kinabukasan, nakita pala ko ng asawa ko na andun sa gilid ng kama ng bata ko nag, nag, nag-pray. Nung pagka yung magkahal, sabi ng asawa ko, nakita kita nag-pray kagabi and God answers your prayer. Kasi tumayo ng anak ko, straight ng likod, wala nang sa until this time, mga kapatid, hallelujah. At the age of 24, wala na siya, mga kapatid. Amen? Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Brother Ruel, Amen. Sister Cynthia, kat siya yung palagi kong tinag-testimony. So, we need to have a right mental attitude. Hindi dahil tayo yung nag-cry out or mga emotional na feelings natin. Nandito talaga natin. No! We need to approach Him according to His promise. Amen. Kasi kung right. promise niya, mga kapatid, he, oh, he is obligated to fulfill His promise right. to be called God. Amen. Amen. Because God is in His word. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Kahit na ng mga pagsubok natin, we are so far away from our families, but we need one of these days as we claim the promise. Yes. Ang design natin bilang mga, mga parent is to be with our children. Right. To be with our father, to be our mother. But then circumstances, I believe that God is still a master of circumstances. Amen. Amen. God is still in the business of making the impossible Amen. possible. Hallelujah. One of these days, He is going to restore us to our families, to our Amen. parents. Hallelujah. Amen. But the most thing, we will be restored to be Amen. with the Lord. Amen. To meet Him in the air. Hallelujah. So magkikita natin mga kapatid, walang may nanangyari nung lumabas si Samson, praise God. Hallelujah. Na-fulfilled yung message ng angel kay Mrs. Manoa. Yung tinitingnan nila si Samson, alulang nag-rejoy sila dahil yung Panginoon nag-vindicate ng message niya. Pero si Samson, hindi niya alam ang sarili niya. Para sa kanya, ordinary yung bata lang siya. Pero sa mga parents niya, he was special. Because he was a Nazarite. From the womb to the end. Pero si Samson, hindi niya nalaman. But he need to know. How many people believe that faith cometh by hearing? Amen. And hearing by the word of God. Yes. Amen. Amen? So, dapat malaman ni Samson kung ano yung posisyon niya, anong calling niya. He need to be in the same channel of inspiration. Katulad nung inspiration na dumating sa nanay niya. So nung andun si Samson, nakikinig sa sa nanay niya. You are a special class of a person. You are a Nazarite, separated from the word to the word of God. You are something special. But then si Samson hindi niya pa minsan mararamdaman yan. But he need to be in the same channel of inspiration yes. na makatch up niya. Until sa time na nakatch up niya yung revelation, praise God, katulad sa atin mga kapatid, hindi natin na-meet ang pillar of clouds, hindi natin na-meet yung uh, the, the sword in the hands of Brother Branham, but we believe na ang Panginoon dumating sa araw na ito. 
Yeah. In the form of His Word and the Musab sa atin, mga kapatid, yeah. although hindi natin nakita physically or physically, but we believe it spiritually and blessed that day. Praise God. Na, 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 that, that believe. Kahit na hindi natin nakita, we always believe the Word of God. Amen. And we can say amen to everything. Amen. 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 The, Lord. the more we believe, the more it becomes reality sa buhay natin. Amen. Nung na-receive ni Samson, mga kapatid, yung revelation na he was a Nazarite, nagkaroon siya ngayon ng superpower. Amen. Hallelujah. Yung mystery ni Samson, yung mga Hollywood, pinoproject nila si Samson na malaking tao. Malaking muscle. Maraming mga tao sa buong mga, mga muscle man. Yung focus nila, yung magkaroon ng muscle, malalaking muscle. So sabi ng prophet, hindi, hindi ka ma, hindi ka ma-amaze kung yung lion i, i, i stretch niya, yung mouth ng lion. No? Hindi ka ma, ma-amaze pagka, hindi, hindi ka na mag-wonder kung anong lakas ni Samson. Mm-hmm. Dahil sa projection nila na malaking tao, mataas, malaking muscle, hindi ka na mag-wonder na mapapatay niyang maraming Philistine at malaking mat- malakas siya. But then the prophet of our day, nakikita niya ang vision niya kay Samson. Uh-huh. Si Samson hindi malaking tao. He was not a six-footer. Hindi malaki. He was not a 350 pounds or kilos. Sabi niya, maliit na tao si Samson. Skinny, a little shrimp period. Ma- maliit na tao. He was just four feet. At uh, may- maybe yung timbang niya, mga 90 kilos or something. Maliit. But what made him strong? Because the Spirit of the Lord was in him. Amen. Because of the seven lakhs sa kanyang saulo, which is type of the seven church angels, a complete word, mga kapatid, na natanggap na he becomes so powerful. Amen. Kahit na maliit sa tayo, right. mga maliit na churches, but if we have the Spirit of God, we will become a super church, a super race of people, an invisible army. Amen. Because God is dealing not in quantity. Mm. But God is dealing in quality. Amen. 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 That's why, mga kapatid, kung dito tayo, and we serve the Lord with all our heart, with all our mind, because this is a very special gathering. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Huwag niyo sabihin niya, you are just a member, but you are a member of the body of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Not the church building. Praise God. Amen. But you are the temple of the living God. Amen. At nakikita natin si Samson, lumaki, praise God. Naging, naging very uh, powerful si Samson dahil mga kapatid sa seven church ages which is type of the complete word na natanggap niya and he was so powerful. Wala makakastand, praise God, sa presensya ni Samson. Amen. But then, masabi natin at, at the long run, naging walang sino man ang maka, makadipit kay Samson. But at this time, he become comfortable with his power. Unti-unti na siya ngayong nag-compromise. Unti-unti na siyang nag para wala na siyang ganang makikaaway sa mga kaaway niya. He was so relaxed. Yes. Because he feel that he was already secured. Wala na siyang hahanapin. Ang lakas nandiyan. Ang Panginoon nandiyan. Ang promise ng Panginoon na he will be a Nazarite from the womb until the day of his death. And yan na lahat. But at the end of the day, he becomes so relaxed. Amen. Nagkaroon na siya ngayon ng unting-unting compromise. Yeah. Unting-unting compromise sa mga friends niya. Mm-hmm. Unting-unting ng mga buhok na seven lock. Unting-unting ng... So makikita natin sa churches sa Libutan, we are too lax. We heard so much about predestination. We heard so much about adoption. We heard so much about the knowledge of God. We heard so much about placing at the exact time na naging ordinary na lang sa pakikinig natin. Ah, predestinated pala po eh. Hindi maka pagusto na ko kung anong gusto ko. Dahil predestinated na ako. Siguro, Pwede ko nang i-cut ang buhok ko. Pwede ko na maybe above the knee yung buhok ko. 
<laughs> ay yung ang, ang skirt ko. Maybe pwede na rin ako mag uh, join sa mga club ng mga kung ano-ano dyan. You become lax kasi, kasi almost lahat ng message alam mo na. Alam mo ng revelations ng serpent seed. Alam mo ng revelations uh, ng baptism in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Alam mo na na there is no eternal son. Kasi yung son may beginning at saka end. Alam mo na there is no eternal hell. Amen? Walang eternal hell kasi ang hell created for the devils. So kung in create siya, ibig sabihin may beginning at saka end. Sabi ng prophet, there is no such thing as eternal hell. Kung may eternal hell, dapat may eternal life ka papunta sa eternal hell. Pero there is only one form of eternal life and that is God. Yes. So yung hell created for the devils. Yes. Amen? So alam mo na lahat. Ang game sucks time na shadow ko na wala na yata kung dapat pa malaman. Alam mo na lahat. So you begin to compromise. Si Samson ang karoon ng compromise sa mga barkada niya. Amen? Sa mga barkada niya, sa mga organizations na pinupuntahan niya. Unti-unti niyang nag-relax siya ngayon. Amen? Unti-unti siya na yung, yung standard ng buhay niya. Unti-unti nawawala. And the scripture said, in one time, binigay niya yung secret niya kay Delilah. We know all the stories ng mga struggles ng kapatid ni Sapson. And there's such times na uh, binitiwan niya lahat sa buhay niya. At ang unang nangyari sa kanya nung nag-backslide siya, he gave all the secret. Ang unang nangyari, kinuha yung mata niya. You see, if we, we, if we lost our vision, kung, kung mag-backslide ka or you have in a, a very bad company, ang unang mawawala sa iyo, yung vision mo. Yung focus mo, praise God, to serve the Lord. Kasi nagbabackslide ka na. Unang mawawala yung vision mo. No, dati ang init na init mo. Ngayon, praise God, nawawala na. Mabuti na yung makapunta ka sa church. Mabuti namang hindi. Wala ka ng commitment. Amen. Iba kasi yung, just I want to go to church. Yung I want to go to church in your own convenient way. But if you are committed to serve the Lord, Walang reason dyan. Yes. Kahit wala Amen. kang pamasay, kahit wala kang hatin ko, walang hatin ko. You are committed to serve the Lord because God told you Amen. to be a Nazarite from the day, hallelujah, from your womb to the day of your death. Amen. That's why kailan tayong commitment and focus. Kung wala tayong focus, mga kapatid, praise God, we will be lax. Yes. And we really lost our vision. We lost our visions for our family, for our church, for whosoever we want. We lost vision. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Kaya nung na, wala na yung mata ni Samson, siya na ngayon ang pinagtatawanan. Yeah. Nung dati, every time nakarinig sila ng, sali, ng, ng pangalan ni Samson, nanginginig yung mga Pilistin. Kasi wala makakasnan sa power behind kay Samson. Yeah. But then, na lost na yung mission, hindi niya alam kung saan siya pupunta. Yeah. Siya na ngayon ang pinagtatawanan. Yeah. Yeah. At marami mga kapatid sa mga church member, yeah. church natin sa, sa hindi lang, sa all over the world. Yes. Nung unang natanggap nilang message, yung may mga televisions, mga modern, sabi nila, okay, give me a shotgun and I will shoot television. Uh, yun ang una nating expression nung dati. Wala namang kilalaman yung television dahil electronics lang naman yun. Pero yung nasa loob ng television, that's why may expression tayo, give me a shotgun and I will shoot. Yun talaga yung focus natin. Lahat ng mga sandlibutan, labas yan. Mga pandalo ng babay, labas yan. Mga television, labas yan. Lahat-lahat na, na against the world God, labas yan. But as time goes on, yung pinalalabas nila, bumalik na. Nung dati, black and white, digital ngayon. Digital ngayon. Flat TV. Nung dati, ang kapal, mga ganyan, ngayon maliit na. Naging modern. Amen? Dahil siya na ngayon, ang pinagtatawanan. Kasi, he lost his testimony. 
But we know that God is so gracious. Amen. God is going to fulfill His promise irregardless kung ano nangyari kay Samson na kapatid. Hindi na magbabago yung salita niya binigay. You will be a Nazarite from the womb. Yes. Amen. To your death. Hindi na magbabago. Amen. Kasi nung si Samson nandun siya, he remembered. Hindi niya magkakaroon nag- nag- tayo ng mga backsliding experiences sa ating buhay. Sino ang wala nakabackslide dito? Huwag na kayong maghansap, baka. <laughs> But I believe, sa ating journey, magkaroon tayo ng mga backsliding yes. condition. Yes. Walang spare sa atin. Yes. Lahat tayo, isang journey lang. Yes. Journey to the promised land. Yes. Yes. Iba-ibang journey, iba't-ibang experience. But isa lang ang focus natin, that is, whose builders and maker is God. Yes. Yes. That's why nung nakabackslide si Samson, hindi niya sinisisi yung sa paligid niya. Yes, yes. Hindi niya sinisisi yung sarili niya. Yes. That's why don't get depressed kung nag-backslide ka. Huwag mong sisihin si kapatid. Huwag mm-hmm. mong sisihin si pastor. Huwag yes. mong sisihin si brother so-and-so dahil sinabi niya na hurt ako. No! Oh, yes. Dapat isipin natin kung anong posisyon binigay natin oh, ng Panginoon sa atin. Yes. We are called sons and daughters of God. Yes. So, yes. We must lie. It is part of our experience. Yeah, yeah. Sa mga successful na tao, naging successful sila, 90% failure. Because sabi nga ni Brother Ruel Kapon, character is a victory. Yeah. Yeah. That's why through trials and testing, Michael Jordan, a famous basketball star, for ang, ang mga success niya, based sa kanyang failure, dahil sa failure niya, na-recognize niya one by one kung dahil sa na-fail, diyan sa nagpupokos na yun. That's why si Samson, nung na-fail siya mga kapatid, pinagtatawanan siya, wala siya magigawa. Instead of sisihin niya sarili niya, ba't ko ginawa yan? Tapos magdi-depress ka, tapos mag-isolate ka ng sarili mo, hindi ginawa ni Samson. But instead, he focused on his calling. Yeah, I was a Nazarite to begin with. Yes. Amen. I am called to be a Nazarite and I will stand as a Nazarite. Yes. That's why he prayed, Lord, just once more. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. I am Nazarite, Lord. Yes. Hallelujah. I am a Nazarite. Kahit na may kakamali kayo, that's why mga kapatid, yung mga real na believers, they can confess their sin. Yes. Yes. Sila lang yung nakadikognize ng mga mistakes natin. But a real Christian don't desire to commit sin. When you are a born again, magkukumit tayo ng mistakes. Sa ating pag-iisip, minsan sa ating gawa. But then we don't have desire to commit sin again. Kasi kung nakasala ka, automatic yan, being a Christian, you cried out, Lord, forgive me. Remember in the book of Judges, lahat sila nakakakumit ng they did evil in the sight of the Lord. 40 years, 20 years. But when they cried out, ang Panginoon nagpapadala ka agad yes. ng deliverer. Amen. I think it's the same thing with us. May mga experiences tayo sa buhay. But then we need just to to realize kung da, saan tayo, praise God, nadapa, doon tayo babangon. Amen. And Samson realized, praise God, na He was not just an ordinary person. He was a Nazarite. So he keep on meditating. I am Nazarite. Kung nagkamali man ako, Lord, just forgive me. Just give me one more chance. Amen. Amen. At dito sa, sa closing, mga kapatid, and we believe na hindi na kailangan natin ng mahabang sermon o may clean na sermon But God knows what we just need. Yes. Amen? Amen. Para hindi tayo magsasawa because God is so quick. Amen. Merong quick work ang ating Panginoon. So kung itong araw mo na ito, praise God, namusap sa puso mo, it's time that you just commit yourself to the Lord. Wala ka pong baka bukas, baka sa sunod na araw. No! The time is too short. Ito yung pinakaikling panahon sa lahat ng panahon. Amen. So seven church ages, makikita natin the... the at na, na, nasabi ko kahapon, Ephesian age lasted 117 years. At itong Laodicea, nag-start 1906, ngayon 2019 na tayo. So ngayon, andito na tayo sa 113 years. So 117 years minus 113, we have 4 more years left. 
So sabi ng Brother Manang, ito yung pinaka-shortest na panahon sa lahat ng panahon. Ibig sabihin kung may four years pa, hallelujah, andito na tayo sa pinakamalapit na inaasam-asam, inihintay natin. And God is doing a quick work. Kung yung mga anak niya, praise God, na hindi pa nakarinig ng salita ng Panginoon, ang Panginoon ngayon, praise God, ang gumagawa ng, ng, ng mga circumstances na matawag niya yung mga predestinated niya. Maybe ikaw o ako ang tinatawag niya because God is in His body, which is Christ. At pwede kayo maging bibig ng ating Panginoon. Kasi ang ating Panginoon walang bibig, walang mouth. You will be the mouthpiece of God. You will be the eyes of God. You will be the the, the, the feet of God. You will be the hand of God. And dito tayo ngayon, praise God. Amen. Sabi pa, just prophesy again to the Word of God. Hindi lang sa mga lalaki ministers. You will be, you are a part of the bride of Jesus Christ. Pwede kayong mag-share sa co-worker niyo. Pwede kayong mag-share sa amo niyo. Pwede kayong mag-share sa mga business associate niyo because this is the last day. God is doing a quick work. Hindi na pwede papasok ka pa sa seminar and then makonvert ka. No! The time is now when you hear the word. Hallelujah. Huwag mo nang i-herden yung heart mo. Amen. Amen. Because this is the shortest four years. So hindi pwede matawag short kung uh, aapaw pa siya sa 117, right? At hindi din matawag short kung mag-equal siya sa 117. It must be shorter, short than 117 years. Four years! Sabi na, ah, si Brother Marion, nagkuha na naman, nagagawa ng doctrine. No, I'm not just making doctrines. Nakikita lang natin na four years na lang, ibig sabihin, we need to double time. Amen? Amen? Yes. Kung, kung mainit ka sa pag-serve ng ating Panginoon noon, dapat i-double time natin ang init natin. Yes. We have four more years. Pag four more years, hindi sabihin na magagawa natin ito ng doctrine. Hindi ibig sabihin na iiwanan na natin trabaho, i- ibinta na natin mga lupain natin, then hintayin na lang natin ang ating Panginoon. No. When the prophet came along, ginawa niya tayo maging normal na Christian. Kung ang Panginoon darating ngayon, kung may plano ka ngayon, business or uh, mag-asawa ka, you plan as if God is coming 100 years more. But you live as if He will be coming tomorrow. Binabalance ang ating Panginoon. We need to be aware every time, every day. So, four years na yan, mga kapatid. Huwag mong sabihin, ah, four years na pala sabi ni Brother Mario. Hindi. Hintayin ko lang. Uh, pag gustuhan ko yung sarili ko, mag, uh, mag-i-enjoy ako for the for the three and one half years. Then, maybe half years na lang uh, prepare. No. Kung sabihin natin four years, within the span of four years, maybe darating ating Panginoon tonight, or tomorrow, or the next day. But we will never know. But He will come as a thief in the night. Amen. Ano ba yung thief in the night? Siyempre, hindi mo alam kung kailan yung mga nakaw darating. Kasi kung alam mo, siyempre mag-prepare ka. Prepare ka siya gan, or spot, or kung anong i-prepare ko. Pero hindi mo alam kung saan siya darating. Just like mga kapatid sa ating Panginoon, He will come as like a thief. So hindi mo alam kung kailan, but when, and the Word of God is already here na magkaroon tayo ng preparation. Kung hindi pa natin sure sarili natin, then the Word of God is being preached this morning. Amen. Amen. And it is the grace of God. So makikita natin nung si Samson, na wala nang mata, praise God, and he realized that he was on Nazarite. Yes. Yes. Hindi mawawala sa isip ng Panginoon na tapos na declare, he will be a Nazarite. He will be a Nazarite whether he like it or not. That's right. Amen. Amen. Kasi yun ang message of the hour. Amen. We just need to realize his mistake. Yes. Lord, remember, yung batang babae, o batang lalaki, yung nag-guide sa kanya sa temple, yeah. he need to humble himself just like a little boy. Yeah. Alam natin yung mga bata, ang expression natin, yung mga bata talaga hindi marunong mag-sinungaling. Uh, yes. Tapos malakas yung faith ng mga bata. Halimbawa, may bata kang ilagay dito, Andun ka sa harap, sabi mo, talon, talon. Yung bata, walang, walang, walang kaba yan. Talagang tatalon niya. <laughs> Kahit na itong sabihin mo, gagawin niya. He, he was so humble. Ang bata, walang isip, walang lahat. He only have faith 
Ano yung takbo? Katakbo. Takbo yan. Kahit na ilagay mo sa mga super highway na pag binitawan mo, tatakbo lang yan. Yung mga truck mismo, sila yung magpipray mo. That's why if you have faith just like the children, it will stop all Satan's power. Amen? Amen. So that's why si Samson nag-humble himself. That's why ang nag-lead sa kanya, hindi yung sundalo. Yung nag-lead sa kanya sa temple, yung bata. He humbled himself. Doon siya makalitid sa dalawang pillars. That's why he prayed. Hallelujah. But the Philistine took him and put out his eyes and brought him down to Gaza and bound him with feathers of brass and he did wine in the prison house. Howbeit the hair of his head began to grow again after he was shaven. So nang nawala yung mata niya, nakikita natin na wala din yung vision niya, na wala din yung power niya dahil pinotol yung seven locks sa buhok niya. Lahat lahat, he was stripped of his power, of his vision. But then he realized na he was a Nazarite, then he prayed and he humbled himself, then until ting binalik ng ating Panginoon. Amen? That's why kung mag-backslide tayo, praise God, we just need to humble ourselves in the presence of the Lord. Huwag natin sisihin si so-and-so, huwag natin sisihin si tatay, huwag natin sisihin si pastor, kasi nung nag-preach siya, talagang na-hurt ako sa sinabi niya. No. Yung pastor, kami wala kaming magagawa, we are just a mouthpiece. Pero alam na ating Panginoon ang bawat isa sa atin. Sometimes, masakit pakinggan, praise God, pero alam na ating Panginoon We need to break our spirit. Yes. 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 Kasi every time na papaluin nila yung anak nila, praise God, yung anak nila magre-report sa police, then ay yung police pupunta at i-separate sila sa mga parents nila. But we believe that we are not bastard children. We are children of God. We are willing to be corrected. Amen? The more we are corrected, the more we feel we are loved. Amen? Kasi yung mga anak ko, nung maliit pa sila kahit na na maliliit na sila, kahit na malaki na sila, pinapalo ko. Then, pag pinapalo ko, praise God, hindi ko pinapalo out of anger. Kasi kung pinapalo mo yung mga anak natin, praise God, out of anger, yung spirit na, 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 na makukuha nila, maging rebellious spirit. Pero kung pinapalo natin out of love, gusto natin correction, at sinasabi natin, kino, 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 correct kita dahil sa ginagawa mong ganito, I don't want you to be something like that. Ipaalam natin, bakit natin pinalo? At sa aking experience as a parent, every time na papaluin ko yung mga uh, mga anak ko, ang tatlo kong anak dyan naka, nakatayo. I want them to know bakit pinalo ko yung kapakil nila. Then sila mismo, praise God, alam nila bakit ganyan ang standard dati nila. And when they grow, they will not depart from it. At the more mo sila pinapalo out of love, pagkalabas niyan, iyak-iyak sila. Pero pagkatapos ng tantrum nila, babalik din sila at yayakap sa'yo. Yeah. Yun ang na-observe ko. Pero out of anger, minsan impulse natin. Biglain natin. Minsan umiyak, tumatakbo. Minsan tatawagin mo, hindi lalapit. Natatakot. But then, when you correct them out of love, wala tapos nun, magpabalik at uh, uh, yayakap sa'yo. Kasi alam niya, anong salita ng Panginoon ang dumating sa kanya. Likewise sa atin din, meron minsan na sakit pakinggan, praise God, but then minsan sabihin natin, kahit na anong sakit, gustong gusto ko yan, Pastor. Amen. 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 Sa iba masakit, pero sa ating real na sons and daughters of God, Lord, we want your funding. We want your correction. Alam niya, gusto natin, praise God, na pumunta at mapagmahal sa ating Panginoon. Amen? Alam niya, that's why si Samson nang realize niya, until thing bumabalik yung ang strength niya bumabalik. Dahil na-contest niya, I am the last right. 
Hindi niya tinitingnan yung mga mistakes niya. But he looked at the promise of God. Yeah, sa atin, kung magkaroon tayo ng mistake, do look, do look at our circumstances. Huwag natin tingnan sino-sino dito, sino dito, sino dito. Yes. But we need to look at the promise of God. Yes. Dahil kung tinawag tayo ng ating Panginoon, hindi aksidente ang pagtawag ng ating Panginoon. Yes. Wala, hindi siya nagkamali sa pagtawag sa atin sa panahon ito. But then there are circumstances, training ground, praise God. Hanggang ma-mold yung karakter natin. Yes. Sabi nga ni Brother Well, we are distinct. To sit with the throne. Yes. Amen. May character building. Yes. Dapat may character building. Praise God. Kasi maraming kayo mga kapatid na yung sa mga loto. Pag nanalo ng milyon-milyon. Nagwawala. Ila, ilang milyon pagkatapos pulubi. Kasi walang karakter. Pero yung mga sariling sikap. Yes. Pag lumaki ka, ganun ka pa rin nung nasa baba ka. Yeah. Nothing change. You still yeah. humble yourself. Kasi yeah. alam natin, ang Panginoon ang nagda-direct sa atin. Yeah. Ang sabi niya, seek ye first the kingdom of God and all these things shall be added. Yeah. Added na lang lahat yan. Yeah. Progress ng business natin, added na lang yan. Yeah. Ikaroon tayo ng bahay, added na lang yan. Kasi yeah. inundan natin ang Panginoon and that is His promise. Yeah. And He is obligated to fulfill His promise. Uh, may time pa tayo kunti, no? May mga testimony kami nang pumunta kami sa stage. Wala kami kamag-anak, wala lahat. nag kami ni Sister Josephine doon para mag, uh, mag, sa, mag tingnan namin kung saan banda kami pupunta. Nung pumunta kami doon, yung nasa puso namin, wala kami katilala, walang lahat, no? But deep down sa aming puso, Nung dito pa lang kami sa Philippines, sabi ko, Lord, kung i-allow mo na makapunta kami ng Amerika, isa lang hinihingi ko sa iyo, Lord. I-lead ako sa isang church na kung saan ako mag-grow at if ever na darating ka na andun kami, you can find me faithful. Yun lang ang prayer ko, lang hindi may nag-pray na, Lord, nagbigyan mo kami ng magandang, uh, ano. no, yun lang ang yun desire ko. Nung dumating kami doon, praise God, wala kang mag-anak, wala, nakita namin yung telephone number nung kaibigan namin seven years ago, kasi nag-tourist kami ng 2000. Nung dumating kami 2007, wala kami ibang alam, no? Nakita lang namin ang telephone number, so subukan natin tawagan kung sasagot, praise the Lord, kung hindi, Praise the Lord pa rin. Eh, nung nagtaya kami, nakasagot. Punta kayo dito, punta kayo dito. Nung dumating kami doon, praise God, sa, sa California, binigyan kami ng libreng kwarto. Bagong salta. Bagong salta, walang pera, walang trabaho. Binigyan kami ng kwarto for three months without pay. Pinahiram kami ng kotse without pain. Sabi ko, praise the Lord, ang salita ng ating Panginoon, seek ye first the kingdom of God. Kahit na ang believers, pwede niyang hipuin. He can use everything that he can be master of all circumstances. Kahit na ang believers, pwede niyang gamitin. Ginamit kami for three years, walang lahat hanggang naka... Three months hanggang na nakatrabaho kami, nakaipon-ipon, nakaipon kami ng pera. Sabi ko, time na sunduin natin ng mga anak ko sa Pilipinas. Yung pera namin, eh, siyempre kung uwi ako, apat kami, ilang libo yan, kulang lang 800. Alam mo sino ang nag-provide? Yung kaibigan namin. <laughs> Sinundo ko mga anak ko nung dumating kami, parang mga kuha kami yung batang. Mga itsura ng mga anak ko para mga batang yagi. Nag-iitim, ang papayat. Parang aga kami. Good. Nung dumating kami doon sa California, isa lang yung desire ko nung nandito kami, sabi ko punta kami sa church na merong merong school. At isa lang sa isip ko nung dati. Although nag-pray kami, nailid kami sa magandang church. Apang yung sa isip ko, yung kay Brother Ed Biscal na church. Nung dumating kami, uh, mula California hanggang sa kanila, Brother Ernie, sa pinaka-last town ng Washington, 
mga 1,700,000 miles. So, mga 2 days na biyahe. So, yung kotse na pinahiram ko, 1 year na nakatambay yung stalyer. Ibig sabihin, hindi ko alam kung anong kondisyon ng sasakyan yun. Nung lumalakad na kami out of California, sabi ko, ang baho, ang baho ng sasakyan. Yun pala, bumubura na yung battery. Bumubura. Sabi nga, sabi ko walang distilled water kasi sa atin sa Pilipinas, kahit saan, mayroong distilled water. So, hahanap ka pala ng butika, tapos bibili ka ng galon. In short, mga kapatid, nung nagbiyahe kami, noon wala pang GPS. Nung bumiyahe kami, wala kaming cellphone. Ah, meron kami cellphone pro call and text lang. Sabi ko kung anong magyari sa atin dito, wala na. Wala tayong matatawagan, wala tayong mupuntahan, wala, wala tayong magyari. But then, ang, 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 ang strength lang namin na magbiyahe, yung church na baka punta kami. Kaya nung madaling araw na sa kalagitnaan ng biyahe namin, nagkaroon ng ilaw yung sasakyan, nag-yellow. Sabi ko siguro wala ng gasolin ito. So, hindi ko alam kung anong small town na puntahan namin, tapos sirado na yung gasoline station. Nung lumabas kami, sabi ko, balik tayo sa highway. Doon kami nawala. Kasi yung kapal na ng kapal ng pag. Doon. Tapos, mga anak ko na grabe ng takot. Kami din, parang natatakot ko rin, pari paasiit na hindi natatakot. Pero natakot din. <laughs> hindi, well, hindi mo alam kung anong mangyari. So bumalik kami, nagkaroon kami ng hotel na nag-overnight ko, kinaumagahan, pumunta ko sa sakyan, binuksan ko yung hood ko na anong nangyari. Sabi ko, may gasolina naman pala. Pag uh, tingin ko doon sa may Indian state, oh, parang walang wala na talagang oil. Kuha na talaga zero na, malinis na yung engine stick niya. Sabi nung tao sa gasoline station, buti lang hindi pumutok yung engine. At sabi ko, praise the Lord. Ang Diyos ang umahawak ng lahat. Amen. Kahit na makina, pwede niya hawakan. Kahit makina, pwede niya yung control. Amen? Amen. So in short, tumating kami doon sa kanila Brad Ernie, nakatawid kami sa Vancouver, nakapelusip kami kay Brad Ed Biscal. But then, ang design namin hindi na post-true. Walang signs na talagang tutuloy kami doon. Although, nakaroon na kami ng... Uh, nakaroon na kami ng apartment na sana, umupahan, but then, ang Panginoon talagang walang leading. Sabi ko, balik tayo ulit sa California. So, balik kami ng California. Pagbalik namin ng California, umuubo na yung sasakyan. <laughs> So every time mo sa sabi ko pag dito sa rest area alam mo brother Noel yung rest area andon kami sa area baba alam ko mga anak halik kayo dito mag lay hats tayo sa sasakyan <laughs> para lang kahit na makaabot lang tayo sa California okay na so, siguro mga limang rest area na pag stop pray stop pray stop pray hanggang nakakating na may sa California so praise the Lord nung magdating naman sa California mga bandang may na so may time pa tayo no? so kunti na lang Praise Lord. Nag, uh, nagkaroon kayo ng question yung mga anak ko. May meron na kaming apartment na kikita. And sabi ko, hindi naman tayo tatagal dito. May apartment na. Pero yung anak ko sabi niya, hindi ba dati sabi ni Brother Banham na lulubog itong California? <laughs> Ay, sabi ko, Ay, uno, sabi ko, hindi naman tayo permanente dito. Temporary lang. Pero so, uh, nagkaroon ako ng safety feelings. So doon nag-pray na naman ako, Lord, yung mga anak ko na nag-reclipla mo. So hindi na ako makakompromise dito. So I prayed, pag-pray ko may nakita kami, may nakausap ako sa isang, nung pumunta si Sister Josephine sa seminar, may na-meet akong Pilipino. Man, sabi niya may kakilala ko dyan sa Arizona na nagpapaupa ng bahay. Ngayon, pwede mo makontak. E di tinawagan ko, sabi niya, uh, na, mayroon kaming communication. Sabi niya, one, two ang upa nito. So, sabi ko, sabi, uh, sabi ko, bagong salta lang kami dito sa California, wala pang trabaho. Ngayon, pwede ba kami makatawad sa bahay? Wala lang munang down, wala lang lahat. Ngayon, okay, I will give you 800. Tapos kung nakatrabaho na kayo, kayo na lang mag, uh, mag, uh, magbayad. 
Nagbubong praise, no? Hindi ko nakita sa sa hitsura pa, sa kwan lang, sa telepono ko lang. At in-imagine ko may big up, maliit na bahay siguro, na okay lang pumunta. So, nag-pray ako na, Lord, uh, i-lead kami sa church, so, nag-search ako, may sa, sa internet, kung anong mga churches ang andyan. So, nakita ko tatlo, uh, anim na churches, at yung pinakalas na na-search ko na church, pinakamalapit sa bahay na uupahan namin. Siguro, siguro, sabi ko, ito na siguro yung church na pupuntahan natin. So, Pag-open ko, nakita ko yung kay Brother Ron Peterson. Uh, noon, si Brother Ron Peterson, hindi ko kilala. Wala kong, kahit na pangalan niya, hindi ko pa narinig. Noong nakita ko, Ron Peterson, sabi ko, ito yata magandang, so tinawagan ko muna si Brother Ernie sa sa Washington. So, Brother Ernie, meron ka bang kakilala na church na ma-recommend mo sa amin dito sa Arizona? Siya. Meron ako dyan, may mga best friend ako sa church na yan. Sabi ko, kaninong church? Sabi ko, kay Ron Peterson. Wow. Ron Peterson. <laughs> So, nung pumunta kami doon, praise God, namit ko si... Ah, nung nagbiyahe kami, May, birthday ng anak ko. Nung bumiyahe kami, May 28th birthday niya. May, ang sasakyan namin, ang May doon sa Arizona, summer. Ang summer nung sobrang init. Na sa pakainit, pwede mo malaga yung itlog sa taas ng sasakyan at maluluto. Walang aircon. Yeah, I came from California to Phoenix 6 hours drive. Yeah. Walang gapon. Sabi ng mga anak ko, sabi, sabi akala namin yung Amerika malamig. Pero <laughs> dapat para yung aircon ito, oven. So, praise the Lord. Uh, so, bin naka, nakarating din kami God, sa bahay na yun. At nung nakita ko yung bahay ko, up and down, four bedrooms, sa taka malaki. Nga, amazed ako, I was overwhelmed. Kaya kala ko, kuwan ng maliit. So, yun pala, uh, malaki pala yun. So, 800 lang yung Pilipino. Man, sabi niya, okay na. Nung nag-celebrate kami ng birthday sa, kuwan lang, sa sahig. Walang gamit, wala lahat. But we already praising the Lord. Dabi ko, ito na yung perfect will ng ating Panginoon. May church na tayong pupuntahan. Amen? So I don't expect anything. Importante lang na may church na mapupusog yung spirit namin. Then, nag-meet ko si Brother Ron and uh, Wednesday, na-present na kami sa church. Ito yung may mga bagong santa na mga Pilipino. <laughs> na mga yagit. No? So after the service, pagkatapos ng service, si Brother Ron mismo, yung pastor ng church, siya mismo yung nagdala ng folding, folding table. Karga sa pick-up niya, tapos yung asawa niya, folding chairs, anim. Uh, nag-drive siya papunta sa bahay namin. At yun ang una na mga furnitures namin. <laughs> Dining table. Then sunod na araw, Dumarating yung mga kapatiran, may mga dalang kama, may dalang sofa, may dalang beauty seats. Within one week, parang, parang nanalo ako sa sweet seats. Nakumpito yung church. Praise God. At during that time, mga kapatid, wala pa kaming trabaho. Pero yung bahay namin, kumplito na. I was just overwhelmed. Sabi ko, totoo yung salita ng ating tayo. Amen! We give first the kingdom of God and all these things shall be added. Hindi nagkakamali ang Panginoon sa mga promises niya. He is God that fulfill His promise. That's why nung, nung dumating na kami mga kapatid, so doon na nag-umpisa. At during the time, sabi ko, gusto ko maging simple believers lang. Makikinig, maupo, mag-praise the Lord. We just enjoy, praise God, listening to the word of God. At nagkaroon ako ng bad time, Brad, pwede, bang, pwede ka bang pumunta ng Pilipinas? Sabi, hindi na ako mapunta sa isang lugar na marami ng missionary. Sabi ko, hindi punta ka nalang sa probinsya namin. Walang missionary kung pumunta doon. Sa Pakolod. Eh, di, by God's grace, pumunta naman siya, nakashare. Doon so, siya mga two times yung pumunta. Hanggang third time na mga pumunta, nagkaroon siya karoon ng sobrang sakit na hindi siya makapagsalita. Grabe nga po. So, nagbigay ng gamot si Sister Jo, Joy? Sister Joy, saka si Dr. Hon Nyo pa yata yung dati. Pero hindi nawawala yung ubo niya. 
meron pa namang konvensyon sa tinggalan. So, sabi niya, pwede ka bang makapagsalita? Uh, uh, instead sa akin kasi hindi niya makapagsalita. Sabi ko, pwede din. So, in short, pagkatapos ko ng preaching, sabi niya sa akin, I want you to preach in my church. <laughs> Nung narinig ko yun, parang ang ulap sa kalangitan dumagdag sa akin. <laughs> Sobrang kaba ako siya. Sabi ko, hindi na siguro ako mabalik sa state. <laughs> Nung umuwi na kami, pinag-pray ko, Lord, sana makalimutan ni Brother Rob yung sinabi. <laughs> so, by God's grace, sabi ko, uh,